can get it. All right. All right, we're going to um, have a discussion. I think we're going to have a discussion about the silent meditation that we just did and what people experienced. I uh, invited them into the studio. If they don't come and if they do, we can uh, also have other people come in and talk about what's been going on the last few days, particularly last night, the last 24 hours. Hey, Zana, hoping your husband's doing well and your family's doing well. Hey, Bruce, I still can't get an answer from you. I don't know if I got the right uh, phone number. Uh, okay. Hey, Angie Parker. So I'm going to put up the link to come into the studio. anybody wants to come in that attended the silent meditation or if you just want to come in and hey Bella if you just want to come in and talk about what's been going on the last few days particularly the last 24 hours you're more than welcome hey Benita Cortez many beautiful blessings yes back to your meditation Angie Well, it's definitely been a uh, a brisk start to uh, 2022, no doubt about that. <clears throat> We've been saying for uh, quite some time how fast everything's moving, but um, it's moving even faster than it ever has here in just the first eight days, nine days of January. Hi, Sita. Denise. Yeah, if anybody wants to come in, I'm just going to continue to put the... Uh, the link to come into the studio and have a chat. Anyone that attended the uh, silent meditation would love to hear what your experience was. I'm going to replay the uh, silent meditation at the end of this broadcast. <clears throat> for those who might want to participate. Bruce is swept away. Come on, Bruce. Come on on. Come on with me. I don't even know what to say about the first eight or nine days of January. They've been uh, quite incredible, no doubt. Brid Donnelly, you need to come on with them. <laughs> I see your comments all the time, by the way, and I appreciate it. So yeah, the first uh, eight, nine days of January have just been absolutely, uh, almost feels like it's been bigger than all of 2021 already. Hmm. Well, maybe you can send me, uh, Bruce, send me an email. Uh, soldier1studios at gmail.com and try that. Give me your number and I'll try you again. Uh, let's see, what's this message? In the post. And so the link is on the post and on the comments. Uh, okay. Let's see. Elizabeth Appledore, seen all your comments in the Soldier Group uh, recently. Thank you. 
and everybody else that participates. Nick, come on. Britt, Britt, come on. Britt Donnelly, you need to come on. Uh, whoever wants to come up here. Here goes Bruce. He's going to send me for the third round. Let's, we'll get this straight. Third time's a charm. Okay, here we go. There's the link again. Anybody wants to come in? I only see your links under the video of Soldier One Studios. Yeah, there's a problem there. So let me go put it under the other one. Thank you for telling me that. <clears throat> All right, here, I'll put it here. Paste. Okay, there it goes. It's on my page now, if you want to come in. Yeah, we're going to meditation rerun at the end of this broadcast. We're just going to freestyle it. Just try to do something uh, creative. That seems to be the new uh, the new way. Conscious creation. Instead of focusing on problems, creating. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, anybody wants to come in and have a chat, let me know. I can sit up here and talk for a while. There's the link for YouTube and Facebook. Let me put it back on mine again. Paste. All right. Back over here. Hey, Don. How's it going? If anybody wants to come on and chat for just a little bit, we won't go long, I don't think. Anyone that uh, attended the solid meditation, or if you didn't, that's fine too. Glad to hear you're doing all right, Sana. Kia ora. Kut kutui. Josephine Whitaker. Yeah, this year's already started out with a bang, seems like. I guess I'm going to be alone up here, so better think of something to say. I don't know. Where do we start? <clears throat> My self-judgment seems to be leaving. That's a good sign. Well, somebody's here. Let's see who's knocking on the door. <laughs> okay. That's a good sign. Oh, you got to turn off your Facebook. Knocking on the door. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just close the oh, You got to turn off your Facebook. Yeah. You got it. <clears throat> so what was your experience in the silent meditation? It was you're... almost identical to the first experience I had okay. back in I think it was you're... really exciting. All right. So I think that... Hang on. Let me figure out how to do this. How the hell do I do this? Okay. I think I know what you're going to say. So, God dang it. All right, I don't know how to do this. Okay, somebody else is here. Breed and Liam. Breed. Oh, is, who, hey, what's going on? Oh, wait a minute. Let me make this uh, where we can see this young, beautiful young man here. You. Hey. <laughs> wait, I remember you. I remember you. Right, Brid? I remember you. <laughs> Are you Brid? I'm Brid, yeah, yeah, because it's an Irish name. Yeah, I knew I, I know you with your names, but yeah, this is um But I think very... you came I think you came on before, didn't you? Didn't yeah, you? I did. Okay, I, I came on jeez oh, when it was September and the craziness. Um okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I came on and you told me to get Liam on, right? So I happen to have just said it to Liam that Todd said he'd love to talk to you because, 
you know, he's an ET. And Liam has been hounding me since September. Really? So come on. You should so have reached just... out. I would have, we'd love to have him on. Hey, hey, Liam, how are you doing? I'm good. Wow, you are, uh, you're something. How old are you? I'm 11. 11. Wow. And uh, your mom called you an ET. Why is that? Hmm. I can't really <laughs> remember what an ET is. Oh. Well, do you have any? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Being from Pluto. So I'm actually like from Pluto because that's what an ET means. Yeah. So you're you're from Pluto. How do you know that? Do you remember? Yeah. I have a great memory of where I'm from. Wow. Really? Can you tell us a little bit about it? When did you start to remember? Did you always remember? Yeah. Wow. So what do you remember about your life on Pluto? Or is that where you live now? Or how does that work? Well, I still live on Pluto. Because yeah, sometimes I live here and sometimes I live on Pluto. Mm-hmm. So yep. do you live, would you say that you live on Pluto when you go to sleep as a human? Yeah. And, and do you remember your days or your time on Pluto when you go to sleep as a human? Do you remember what happens? Uh, yeah, I actually do. Wow. Like what kind of stuff goes on on Pluto? Hmm. Oh. So we have like. We have red snow mountains. Wow. Do you have a job there? Are you a kid there? Or are you an adult? Oh, no. I'm the leader of all Plutonians. We, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is I'm what good. he says. And his best friend's an engineer who he's also a starseed kid who he wants to find. Legit. This is the conversations that we have. Yeah. And he does go off planet. He told me when he plays with, he plays with crystals and he's been doing it for a while and he plays with beads. Yeah. And then what do you say? He's gone off planet. Yeah. During the day. Yeah. So you have a friend that's an engineer on Pluto and you're trying yeah. to find, and you're trying to find him here in his human body. Yeah. Yeah. Have y'all like tried to like figure out how you're going to do that when you're on Pluto talking? Oh. Well, sometimes the UFOs get hit by comets, so we technically like need an engineer to fix the damage. Wow. So he's probably pretty busy, I guess. Oh. Yeah. So, what kind of uh, place is Pluto? Like, what kind of place do you run over there? So Pluto is a, it was like once a planet and it's in the Kuiper Belt, which is like many miles away from Earth. Probably more than a million. Hmm. Where we have these icy asteroids called comets. Are there a lot of people on Pluto? Well, we don't really like share our home with humans yet because we oh. just have plutonians there and the alien versions of animals that are on this planet oh the wow. alien versions of animals that are on this planet yeah we we even have alien fish that have got three eyes wow Morgan Lee, do you have any questions for this young man? This is pretty yes. cool. I'm going to go because I think you should actually just focus on Liam and find out more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's have an interview with Liam. I'm going to go and I'm going to watch. Oh. That's what Morgan's that's your... in Australia. Oh. Okay. Liam Reason. has a lot to say. Reason. Liam has a lot to say about everything. Okay. It's like this, the trigger words are Mars, the Martians, and the trigger words, the government. Yep, Martians are real. And Plutonians have been in war with them since the beginning of time. So he's like the draconians, reptiles. Yeah, he describes them. 
Because yeah. Martians are the ancient enemy of Plutonians. Holy. Don't get him, don't get him started. <laughs> yeah, get him started. It's good. Oh, he gets so riled up during the day, don't you? Yeah. And that's good, though. It's good you care yeah. about stuff. It doesn't yeah. care about human. It doesn't care as much about uh, Earth stuff, but you're getting there. But he had, he. I asked him why did he, Um, I want to keep Liam in the shop. I asked him why did he, uh, what, like, did he have a message? Like, why did he reincarnate? Yeah. And, oh, where are we there? There we are, Liam. <laughs> why did we reincarnate? And he said, because he had to warn Earth and humanity the direction they were going. So this was in 2010 he was born. So I think, yeah, there's something in that because he keeps saying, we were on a trajectory, basically, to destroy ourselves or be destroyed. So these star seeds heard the call and came in around that year. The ones who are... 2010. Yeah, the ones who got a mission. <clears throat> the ones yeah. who have a mission, I suppose. But he, he's, he's all ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we need to do? I mean, how are we doing since you oh. came in in 2010? Yeah. Are we doing better? Well, I, I actually know when the world is going to end. Don't tell me. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. So what do you mean by end? Will it blow up or will we all just go into our souls? Or what Oh, no, mean? the Earth will die by aging like all things do. Uh-huh. And, and so, like, when is that going to happen? It's going to happen in 999 years. Wow. So we got a long way to go. Yeah. Can we shift the timeline? Well, with time travel, yes. Oh, here we are. We're not really set up. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I, I know that uh, I had some memories, and I, and I never really could, you know, kind of, like, prove them or anything. But one of those uh, memories is going back into time and changing things to change the timeline. So that actually happens. Is that, yeah. is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 Are you, are you basically going back in time now and coming here to earth from the future of Pluto? That's a great question. Uh, yeah, I am a time traveler. Okay. So you've come back in time to earth from Pluto or. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to be the way. That's what he talks about. Yeah. The Plutonians know time travel. Oh. Wow. And we're so advanced that we can actually make time machines. Wow. So what do you eat on Pluto? Oh yeah. Well, we eat different kinds of berries. Like like in the cold climates there's ice berries and in hot climates. There's like spicy berries, <laughs> like jalapenos. Yeah. Wow. And Liam eats. Liam likes to eat raw food. He ha loves raw food, like raw vegetables, yeah. raw fennel, raw broccoli, raw mushrooms. He eats a very, very clean diet. We yeah. are, we should all improve our diet. But he's all about gut health and what else. Loves kombucha. <laughs> yeah, just berries as well. It's all ref. It's all like um, yeah. It's all a uh, <clears throat> part of what you have come in with. Hey, look at this handsome man. He got his hair cut yesterday, so he's quite delighted with himself. <laughs> wow. So, um, like, when it comes to Pluto, um. Is there a reason that we, is there a reason plutonium's name plutonium? Is there a lot of plutonium on Pluto or do you know? Or is mm. that... Well, we do have plutonium ores. Oh. So you can mine for plutonium on Pluto. Yeah. 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 Do you, are you, um, are you a man or a woman or are they all the same? Uh, on oh, Pluto, we, we do have we do have men and women, and I'm one of the men. Yeah. 
And is there still war? Like, is Pluto still involved in a war? Is there any kind of war? Or is it people getting along in the universe or the solar system or what? Oh, no, the Martians are gone now. Oh, oh they they're gone. <laughs> yep. Just recently, I think, was it a few years ago, he came back and said that, yeah, he was very happy, but he's warning everyone about the draconians here that they're, they destroy everything and they want to take over the government here. Yeah. The, dr the draconians? Have, yeah, they have. That's what he said. They have. They've infiltrated. Yeah. 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 Which I'm... <clears throat> I support that. I support that. We're in Australia for a reason, huh? Yeah. yeah. But he remembers being, um, before he was born, he remembers being a rainbow star. Yep, me and my brother were binary rainbow stars, and we had our own solar system. Wow. <coughs> now, is is what happened as, so were you like, like, you're a soul in a human body or you you have a soul in the pluto body it's the same soul is that the same soul that was the binary star mm. too yeah. yeah wow so is your soul in the binary star and pluto right now at the same time or is it just yeah the, oh it is yeah. Oh, it's together yeah you hang on there Liam. i'll get your, your daddy's here yeah oh wait. don't cover that yeah just hold that one yeah. yeah, I'll just stick to your, your phone. Here. You chat away to Todd. <laughs> your interview, Liam. Yep. Do, oh. <laughs> do you uh do you have a family on Pluto? Yeah, there's like millions of Plutonians. Cause there's billions of humans on Earth, but there's millions of Plutonians on Pluto because Pluto is smaller than the Earth. Right. Right. Do you have a family there, though? Do you have, like, a wife and kids, or do they get married on Pluto? Oh, yeah, we do get married on Pluto. Oh. Yeah? And millions of Plutonians are born a year. Yeah. Is, is, are you, is it, like, are you able to walk outside like you do on the Earth, or do they live underground, or do they have different bodies? Are they more, like... You know, oh, like, no, we can actually breathe space air. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you get a lot of sunlight in Pluto? Not much. No. Do you ever get visits from other Plutonians while you're in your Earth body? Uh, Very rarely. Yeah. I mean, do, do they ever come to talk to you about anything in particular? Not much. No. Do you know what, uh, does, do you know how to speak Plutonian? Do they have a language or do they speak through their mind? Uh, we can speak through our mind and we have our own language. Do you know how to speak it? Uh, yeah, I actually do. <laughs> can you can you say something in Plutonian? Usa Lisa. Wait, I've never heard this, Todd. Yep. Thank you, Liam. It was a language invented before English, which was before humans. Ah, that makes sense. Liam was Liam was. Uh, I'll just get into the shot. <laughs> Liam was a uh, telepathic when he was when I was pregnant with him. So he would communicate with me telepathically, and I was just going, yeah, I thought I was psychic before, but after Liam had come in around 10 weeks or so, um, yeah, he was communicating telepathically. So I would say, even use this one kick for yes and two for no, and just to make sure he was okay, especially throughout the whole pregnancy. And he was able to decide when he was coming. So I was quite calm, but it was the most amazing experience being pregnant. It was, I felt like I had, I always said I felt like I had a little alien in me, but in the nicest way. Of course, of course. 
Are there a, I mean, are, so Liam is is there like a whole bunch of kids like you that have that are actually from another planet that are trying to help us here? Is it just Pluto or what do you know about that? Oh yeah, there are other kids from other planets in this universe and in this galaxy. Are, and they wow. on the are they on the planet Earth, like in in a human body, like you, like twelve? Yeah, years? yeah, and I'm trying to find them. Oh, have you found any at all? Brother, well, like I have you? found my brother. Yeah, because me and my brother are are from the same planet. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hello. Thank you. Wow. George is the non-verbal. He was damaged by the job. Yeah, so they stopped him talking. Wow. He has a lot to say, but he, you know, he uses telepathy. But yeah, his the um, yeah, I know. What's his name, George? Yeah, yeah. They they have a very unique bond. They just, they don't argue, they don't fight. They're very much um, brilliant together. They're very sensory, very sensitive, extremely sensitive to energy. Um, and, you know, it's just very, life is tough for George because he's so sensory, he's extra sensory. <clears throat> but I had a, I had a multidimensional healer say, that my guides were saying he's 11th dimensional being. So that's probably more from the angelic realm. And he's using his own life language since he was born, I think. Well, he just goes around talking in a different language, but he can't communicate with us. He just uses his big, beautiful eyes. Yeah. But Liam knows how to get him to do things. He listens to Liam about everything. Yeah. Do you, he knows how to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Liam, do you communicate with your brother through your mind? Um, I can't remember. Like telepathy. Yeah, telepathy. <laughs> so you you know what you just know what are you, what each other are saying. Yeah. That's how you tell them what to do is through the yeah. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. So he's your brother on Pluto too? Yeah. Okay. And you guys work together on Pluto as well. Yeah. So what kind of technology do they have on Pluto? Mm -hmm. Well, we do have very strong technology, technology like stronger than Earth technology. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're way behind. Yeah, because we? we're like very advanced on Pluto. <laughs> Who are the other uh, good guys in the solar system besides Pluto? Oh, yeah. Well, Jupiter has got this icy moon called Europa, and it's ice coated, and it also has water beneath its ice, which means there could be life there. Okay. But you like the was it? You like the anyone from Venus? Yeah. And we were talking that Nikolai Tesla. Is Venusian. Mm. Yeah, the Venusians hide underneath Venus because they hide like underground in Venus because of the hot temperatures. Wow. Because Venus used to have water, which means it used to have life. On the outside. Yep, yeah. on the outside, but now there's life on the inside. Are there things you know about the Earth that most people don't know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I do know that there's actually an inner earth where all living things come from. He loves, he he believes in the Sasquatches and Yowies that we have in Australia. Because they come from inner earth, which is, which is where all living things come from. So everything that's, that's on top of the earth, some way or another, it started from the inner earth. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and, and Antarctica is actually the entry to inner Earth. Do you know anything about our future besides that we're going to be, uh, that Earth will eventually uh, 
die or tra- change form in 999 years. Do you know anything else about our future on Earth? Well, one day the Earth will like die and it will be inhabitable. Mm. And uh, how long do people live on Venus? Oh, for a few million years. Wow. Do you know how old you are on Venus? No, I'm from Pluto. I'm, I'm sorry, I meant Pluto. I'm sorry, I meant Pluto. How long do people live on Pluto? Well, hmm. well, people from Pluto live for like a few billion years. Wow. <clears throat> well, he, he, has a, he has recall of Andromeda because that's where I'm from. I'm from the Andromedan galaxy. But he has more recall about being a frequency than I do. So we weren't, we weren't, um, we were like sound and color frequency. We weren't actual beings then. But that's why he told me we met. And we feel we both originated there. But we're all, he has a way of understanding the the multidimensional part more than I do. As in being, being, hey. Yeah. Everyone's quite old anyway, as a being, as your energy form. You, you stay in the shop, Liv. What about things like, uh, you know, like fairies and elves, mm. and dragons and yeah. Sasquatch? What about those things? Do you oh, know yeah, they do, they do also come from inner earth. Yeah. Fairies, yeah. Do you, how do you how do you get along or how do you feel about like school when you go to school and get around other kids? Do any of them relate to you? Do any of them understand you? Well, I'm actually homeschooled. Okay. Yeah, he he struggles. He doesn't fit in because he's um, yeah, he was dissociating. He was traumatized at school. He was just dissociating at school. He was above the school. Like he would float out of his body, literally trying to leave. He would say, talk about trying to teleport himself out of school. So I kind of knew a few years ago, okay, uh, we're not going to school anymore. He he just doesn't, um, yeah, kids don't know how to relate to him. But he is a beautiful soul and lots of people love him. Everybody loves Liam. Everybody loves Liam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, like he is. He, he lights up a room. He's so much fun. But he has to be around, I think, other starseed kids. Eh? Yeah. He also looks like he's not afraid of anything. Oh, one big, his biggest thing, mm. the four-legged furry creatures that absolutely love him wherever he goes. Oh, you're talking about like dogs or just any form? He's a phobia, a proper phobia about dogs, but he also has a past life about that. Yeah. He was, he was killed by an Alsatian. Wow. The German shepherd dogs, he was killed by an Alsatian. You're dog. most likely to die from one of those than you are to die from a shark. <laughs> Lehman dog just so they love you, him, but yeah. he doesn't love them. Yeah. So you said that the Martians are gone now. Yeah. That you were that Pluto was basically at war with. And it sounds like the Draconians were connected to the Martians. Are the Draconians gone mm-hmm. now too? Yeah. Do you think that we'll what do you think that uh about the things going on in the world right now, like COVID and vaccines and quarantines. What do you think about all that? What's that all about? Do you know? Well, I don't really agree with vaccines because they just only make the pandemic worse. Do you, what do you think is going to happen this year in 2022? Do you think, do you know of any changes we might have on the earth? Well, COVID might actually disappear because there is a chance that it might disappear. You were you were saying that uh, there are other planets or other species 
like Plutonians or Venusians, and you mentioned Jupiter. Is there a group of planets or people from planets trying to help the Earth? Mm -hmm. Well, many light years away from Earth, there's like this Earth like exoplanet called like Kepler 22b. And it and it's identical to Earth, which means it might contain life. Wow. <clears throat> but what about there's plenty of people like you here to come and save us? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that like your mom is do you know where you're, what planet your mom's from? Well, she's from Andromeda. Yeah, Andromeda. And where else? Um, can't remember. Lyra. Oh yeah, she's also from Lyra. Yeah. He, can, he confirms this. He confirmed this for me. Where else? Orion. Yep. Orion. The Orion Belt. He loves Star Wars. Yep, Orion is the Star Wars galaxy. Do you think that everybody on Earth comes from other star systems? Or are some people here born here? Well, I think other kids come from other star systems in this universe. Wow. <laughs> So you don't you when you go to sleep at night you go back to Pluto mm -hmm. and, and yeah. you, you remember things from Pluto. Um, yeah. Like what do people do on Pluto? Like what how what's their life like? Well, Plutonians are are a very smart species of alien. And the reason why we can survive the cold climate is because we wear special suits, like onesies, that protect us from the cold. Wow. <clears throat> How do you uh, get around on Pluto? Do you have to, like, get in a vehicle? Or can you just think yourself somewhere? Or how does it work? Well, well, we do have vehicle. We do have vehicles, so we can control with our minds. Oh, wow! Is there crime on Pluto, or is everybody cool? Everybody's cool. There's no crime. Wow. I mean, if people live for like so many years, they must have huge families. Yeah. Do Plutonians stay on Pluto or do they go to other planets to live? Do they have like spaceships and go other places? Oh, yeah, we do have UFOs made out of titanium, which is a very strong metal. Mm. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yep. <laughs> I think he's he's pretty, I don't, <laughs> other than, than dogs, I don't think he has a fear about anything. Yeah, he's quite... Um, What's the word? Like he's a definite eco warrior. He came in and he would just start picking the things off the ground and would just go mental at people who are littering because you don't destroy your home, your earth. He couldn't understand. Yeah, because littering will only make the earth die faster. Oh. Do you think that the human race will start taking care of the earth soon? Yeah. Once everyone knows when the earth is gonna die then they'll start then they'll stop littering and start taking care of the earth and their bodies though he's very into body health like yeah. hugely into yeah body health do you Take care of your best one. do you know what kind of work you're gonna do when you become an adult on earth well, when I become an adult, I'm going to, like, have an astronaut career. Yeah. Do you think that, uh, as a human, that you could go back to Pluto as a human? Yeah. Wow. 
Do you do you like see things on earth that maybe other people don't see? Like, I mean, do you see um, like, uh, I don't know, like fairies or other uh, other people or anything like colors or anything like that that other people might not see? Well, all aliens are, are actually colorblind except me. You can see, uh, uh, you mean that if a human being is colorblind, they're probably an alien? Yeah, yeah that's probably one of the signs that they're alien. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that's why colorblindness exists. Mm. Liam started getting um, just downloads of things where he'd sit there and he'd just start getting information in. That started about when he just hit puberty. Don't mind me sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> being, being a human is very hard. <laughs> but yeah, he wants to, you can tell him about your plan. He, he wants to, he loves redheads. He thinks they're the most unique thing in the world. He gushes when he sees any redhead. He loves redheads. All babies, men, women all about redheads there's something about that uniqueness so how many you said he's going to marry a redhead yep and how many kids seven kids <laughs> that's, that's the pretty, plan that's a that's a pretty big family for uh for the earth i know it's not for pluto can you uh let's see What would uh, like Plutonians like for the Earth people to know? Oh. Well, I think people need to know what's beyond the solar system. Do you think that the Earth people will be told, um, you know, like the whole world will be told or, or know these things anytime soon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, anytime soon, like in a couple of years, everyone will will actually be as smart as Plutonians. Oh, wow! That's saying a lot. So, do you feel like that there's a big shift happening on the Earth? Yeah. Do do Plutonians do they get sick? Oh, we do get sick a couple of times, and when we get sick, we carry a virus that can, like, kill many things. <laughs> wow. And can you heal each other in on Pluto? Oh, yeah, we can actually heal each other. Do you, do you feel like you have any healing uh, gifts in your human body? Well, we can heal each other with our minds. Yeah. Can you do that as a human, too? I haven't really tried it out yet. Hmm. Hmm. Do they use money in Pluto? No, I don't really think so. No. Wow. You want to get a drink? No. Okay. You still want to keep going? Well, his daddy's here to collect him. Okay. Well, yeah. let's do, we should do this again sometime with you and George. Yeah. You know, I, I would imagine George has some things to say as well. But and yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. I'll change the title of the, uh, the live <laughs> and, uh, and I'll put. Uh, you just I'll, never know, huh? <laughs> I'll put your name on it. Oh, and, brilliant. And, nice. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a Facebook? No. Okay. Well, I'll put your last name is is the same as your mom's, right? Donnelly? Yeah, Donnelly. Okay. Yep. I'm going to put it up and uh, I'll go change the titles on all the different platforms to put your name on it. And <laughs> this was a great show. Do you have any more interesting things to say before you go? Hmm. I can't really remember. That's okay. Yeah. You're, yeah he's very, normally, he's very funny and loving and joking around. So this is him being very serious. No, he's, big, he's coming through he, fine. I mean, most people come yeah. on the show, they get all, you know, nervous. Hey, well, can, you, 
Liam, can you do me a favor? So when you leave your body, when you go to sleep, can you come by my place and uh, just kind of like tap me on the shoulder and say, do you want to go to Pluto? Oh, oh man. Yeah. I'll be looking for you. Yeah. Great. I'll be yeah. looking for you. I'm going to go change the title on the show and put Liam Donnelly was in the house. Oh, <laughs> we'll he see still like wants to be out there. So yeah, it's just got well, a lot of stuff to share. <laughs> well, we'll have to do it again and uh, tell George uh, he's welcome to come next time as well. You know. And what what do you want to say about George though? He's well, you can communicate for him. Yeah, George is nonverbal. Yeah. But I mean, if he's there, you know, they can. Talk. Oh yeah, you never know what would happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how you find out. <clears throat> Thank okay. you, Todd. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys take care. I'm going to go in and change the title, and uh, we'll do it again sometime. Fair enough. Yep. All right. Yep. Bye. Bye. Peace out. 144, Bye. 144 people in the house. Go figure. Yeah.